Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be the 8th Excel 2013 tutorial and I'm going to finish up the topic of formulas today. I wanted to point out all of these tutorials will be posted on my website and they'll be posted for free and the, that address is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other links that may be of interest to you including the YouTube channel address. So what I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet with several uh, car sales people um, salary information and what we want to do is calculate what their total pay is um, where we're going to add up the weekly base salary and then they get a volume bonus and they get different um, commission levels on accessories that they sell. So I put some basic information down here on payment rules and commissions. So in this case the base salary for salespeople is $350 a week on accessories they get four percent of the of the um, sale value in the commission and then there's also another category called bonus accessories and those are high value accessories that they may sell and those get a commission of ten percent and they also get a volume bonus if they sell four cars in a week they get an extra four hundred dollar volume bonus so what we're going to do here is we're going to create some formulas. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to figure out if this employee received a volume bonus. So Mary is in sales, gets a weekly base salary, and, and she sold eight cars. So you can see right away if they sell four cars, they get $400. So we know she hit it, um, hit that value, but rather than just entering $400 here what we want to do is use a formula and what we're going to do here we're going to use an if-then formula so how you do that is you type equals if and then we hit tab and then we set up a logical test so if the logical test that we want to check we want to see if if Mary's sales are over four car or four cars or greater so that logical test is going to be equal to this value, in this case cell D2, the number of cars, is that greater than or equal to this value. And then we do a comma, and then we move to what happens if that's true? Mary gets $400, and then we hit tab, Whoop, I'm sorry go back into the formula and then we click and then we click comma again and it moves to value of false and if it's if she doesn't meet that value she gets zero dollars so we hit return and there you see Mary gets four hundred dollars if I go change this to three cars she gets zero dollars so I'm gonna change it back to eight and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna point out one thing I'm gonna copy these down and show you what happens so I've copied them down and you can see they all um, get four hundred dollars um, in this case actually you wouldn't be able to tell it was let me change this to three cars and this one to two cars so you can see there's still four hundred dollars so you know there's something wrong with the formula I'm going to delete it and show you what the problem is here so when we carry this down when we copy this formula down, it copies down all the values, so D2 becomes D3, but also B14 became B15. So what we want to do is we want to freeze the value for B14 because that's this value here, and B15 is zero. So we're going to go over here, we're going to highlight this, just select the B14 and hit the F4 key, and that's going to put the dollar symbols in front of it and that's going to make it a constant value a constant reference so now if I copy it down you can see that it still references B14 so that's how we do the the, um, the determine if they receive the, the volume bonus now what we want to do is calculate the total pay so all formulas start with equal their base salary is $350 and then we do so we select the that cell C2 plus and we go over here and we figure out okay they've sold accessories of a thousand dollars and then they commission they get a commission of four percent on that so do we need to do use parentheses here because we need to do this value 
times their commission value, which is 4%. Again, this needs to be a constant reference, so we highlight it, and we hit the F4 key. Or you can manually type in the dollar signs, too. Now we have to close those parentheses because we want this formula executed um, prior to um, the other uh, element, the other uh, pieces of the of the formula here. Then we need to determine what's the bonus accessories value. So I'm gonna, now we do parentheses again, and we do F2 times this value, which they get 10% on those bonus accessories. And again, we're going to highlight it and do F4. And now I'm going to close parentheses. I'm going to click there and click close parentheses. And then I'm going to add their volume bonus. And I hit return. And there you see Mary makes $822.50. Now if I copy that down, you see all the different salaries for each of the um, each of the different uh, salespeople. Okay, so the only other thing that I want to share with you here is we've done a volume bonus here where we said, what if they um, had four or greater sales? They get four hundred dollars. But what if it was a range, and they got a, a tiered commission? So what if they had a volume bonus of if they hit eight cars, they get eight hundred dollars so then what we would do is we would go over here and we uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this one down here so I'm gonna create a new formula say equals if but now it's an if and so we're doing if open parentheses and and then we open parentheses again and we say the number of cars sold in this case Brian's number of cars sold is cell D2 and we say if that's greater than or equal to four, which is B14. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to a constant reference. Then we do comma, and then again D6, in this case number of cars sold, is less than or equal to actually is less than 8 in this case which is D15, B15 so then I'm going to make that a constant reference and then I am going to do a comma sorry I'm going to close the parentheses here then I'm going to do a comma and then I say value of true they get $400 and the reason why actually I could do this I could even reference this cell right here $400 and then I could hit make that a constant reference by hitting F4 and then I could click here and then I have another statement so I do a comma and now I do an if and now I'm checking if I open parentheses and my logical test now is if this value is greater than or equal to eight cars and again, I'm going to make this a constant reference. Hit F4. Then what do I do if that's true? They get this commission. Hit F4. And then what do, I, what do they get if it's false? They get zero dollars. And then I have to close parentheses. And I have to actually close it twice here because I have you have to have an even number of parentheses. Oops. And I have a mistake there. Let's see what I did wrong here. I have a, I'm missing my logical um, formula here. It's not complete. D6 is less than B15, in this case, eight cars. I'm going to hit F4. And now I should be able to hit return. And there you see, zero dollars for that. But what if I change it to five cars? Brian gets $400. What if I change it to. Um, nine cars and you see Brian gets eight hundred dollars so you may want to write down the syntax of this because it can be a little complicated to follow um, and then of course I could just use regular values here like for example I could go over here and I could copy this
and I could go over here and say if d7 is greater than greater than or equal to 4 and d7 is greater is less than 8 then give them it gets a $400 bonus if d7 is greater than or equal to 8 then give them a bonus of $800 okay so you can see I meant to do d6 Sorry about that. Let me just add a value here. So you see 4, change it to 9, you get the idea. So that's how that works. So you do not need to reference all those cells, but I just wanted to point that out. So thanks for joining, and please subscribe. Take care.